All right, everyone. So today I'm gonna do a top five of what free-to-play players can do to be useful in big guilds and war guilds. What can you do to kind of keep up and make sure that you belong to a big guild? So that's something uh, that a lot of people are asking because uh, obviously uh, we don't have the option of just going down this section and just just buying speed up buying gears uh, so free to play players we have to play a different way but there's a there's a place for us in big guilds and I'm gonna show you today what you can do uh, to help to belong and also what you need to do as far as building up your account obviously if you start today you're not gonna be 700 million like uh, like I am on this account uh, but there's a lot of stuff that you can do uh, right away when you start playing this game and how long it takes to get to a point where you're very useful to a big guild, even if you're still free to play. So the first one is fill up your guild bank. So there are several ways you can do that. Obviously, just keep gathering. Um, put on your, your, gathering, uh, your gathering gear. As you can see right now, this is not what I have. I want to make sure I'm in speed gear because I'm running some darkness. But you want to be in a gathering. Uh, you, you want to have a gathering set. Obviously, this is this can be swapped out uh, with uh, those boots. And I believe these ones are also correct because they give you capacity. But um, I would say that these sacred boot that you get uh, uh, free from the get go is it's pretty good. Uh, make sure you have your travel speed with uh, with the Saber Fang. So gathering is really good uh, if you have a several piece of, of, of uh, uh, if you have several of the piece uh, equipments, and also if you have uh, armies. So uh, two. Where do I see um, what's my army limit? I don't remember where it is, but basically you can get. Yeah, I have seven army limit at the moment on this account. I'm working to get the the last one unlocked but basically even with five five army uh, limit you can gather a lot um, so try to try to always gather and send to your bank as you can see right now we have a, a bank right here uh, that's a very good way the, the people that the, your your rally lead are going to be really happy if the bank is full uh, whenever they um, whenever they run uh, uh, Whenever they run uh, rallies on people, so obviously I'm gonna go on speed gear because I'm running a low level darkness at the moment for Guild Fest. Um, but yeah, you can gather, so send everything. Food is always a premium. You want to make sure your bank is full with uh, with food. Uh, the other thing is you can be an hyper. So I this is not what I am. I am a mixed resource uh, account. In most of my accounts, but if you're if you're an hyper. So make sure you select one of the um, uh, of the piece of uh, either uh, stone, a wood, or ore, and then uh, make sure you can also do food, but uh, it's gonna it's gonna lock you out of other activities if you do that, uh, especially troops. You're not gonna be able to have the, all the troops you want, uh, so you can hyper a certain uh, type of uh, of resource and just whenever it's full, you you send to uh, your bank. Um, the other thing, you can also use your familiars. There are several familiars that help you with that. Uh, so first of all, there is the gather round. This comes from uh, thing Evil Weevil. It's pretty good. Uh, gives you four hours worth of resources. So in my case, it's about um, four million of each, and then about one point five of of uh, uh, a food, and maybe like eight hundred thousand of gold. There's also Gold Digger that comes from the Goblin. You can do Nosteros, uh, which completes um, uh, uh, tiles up to five. It's pretty good one day. Uh, what else do we have? I think that's about it. Um, yeah, that's about it. You also can get the Season Courier. It's always nice uh, to uh, increase the supply capacity, not for gathering, but if you want to uh, send uh, resources to your bank, this is always good. Um, so yeah, fill the bank. That's something that everyone can do. Uh, so if you're free to play, I suggest you do that and focus on that. 
You out the rally lead, you out the fillers to make sure that they heal after a good hit. All right, let's move on to number two. And then number two is, where is it? It's hunting. Hunting. So if you're free to play, you probably have a set like this. Uh, this is come. This came from last year, I think. This is still better than what I could do uh, uh, with the, the, the rare materials that I have. But uh, yeah, this the, you probably have a, um, a set like this. Yeah, so what you want to do, you want to hunt as much as possible. Um, I, it's some guilds have a, um, a certain amount uh, that they require. The big guilds is gonna be like between three and seven level two per day. Uh, it's kind of easy to get uh, to get this. Uh, for example, I think I, I think on average about four hits between four and five hits to kill a level two monster. So uh, with my energy, so I don't know how long it takes, 11 hours and I would get it's 11 hours. So basically I'm getting 34, I'm getting 68, roughly 68,000 energy a day with my setup. Uh, so, and it, I don't know how, um, basically, basically on average, let's say 15,000. So I can, I can easily do four level two a day uh, with uh, my current setup on most of my accounts, but this specifically this one. So it cost me, like I said, I can do, yeah, 15,000. I can do about four and a half a day, which is basically the minimum re requirement for my guild. Now I get better result than that because I also have, uh, I think it's called Hunting Ground. Yeah, Hunting Ground from Saber Fang. That's something that's unlocked at pack four, which is really good. Basically with this skill, gives me 15 hunts in a row on on a monster that I hunt. Uh, so basically I can, I, I usually do that once a day, obviously because there's a one day cooldown. And I can, uh, I can kill a level three monsters in about four to five hits. So uh, on a daily basis, I kill one level three and maybe two or three more level two so that's some guilds uh, some high level guilds that's what they're gonna ask either one level three and one uh, one level two or uh a combination something like that the bigger bigger guilds obviously they have higher minimum uh you might have to dig in your bag to get to the minimum but uh, I'm, I'm in a pretty um high level guild right now and I have no issues uh, doing my, the minimum on, on this account. Obviously, it's a three and a half year old account now. Uh, so uh, hunting is, is something that provides for everyone because you hunt, you provide speed up, you provide gems for your guild made with the guild gift. So obviously you're not gonna provide anything on the bonus chest, but you're, that's where you're gonna put uh, some rewards for the rest of the guild. Uh, so guild gifts, you uh, fill to get the, uh, the special box at the moment. It's a bad one, but there are some better ones I've seen there. So uh, monster hunting, it's very important and it's very easy to do for free to, free to play players. All right, let's move on to number three. Uh, so on number three, uh, what you need is, uh, let me put my speed gear once again you need well you need you need sigil so sigil is is uh is very good uh for uh for a big guild uh what it does is it provides a, a boost uh to attack uh whenever you um so right now i have a purple sigil on this account um i don't know where we can see the the the, the attack boost that it provides. Maybe if I go to my cabinet, not sure if we'll see that there. I have some more. It doesn't really say. Uh, I don't remember um, how many. I, I think it's up to 2,000 and then 2,000. So that this this would provide 40 and you can go up to 2,000, I think. And 2,000 provides a 100% boost in an in, uh, in attack. So, um, so obviously, 
anything there else. Uh, your guild, uh, some, some big guilds will have no issues filling out the uh, pack attack bonus to get the 100%, but some lower ones uh, will, um, will, will only get a portion of that. So this is very important. This is, this is a way that you can help. Even if you don't have any um, troops, you can have like a, a, a thousand troops. You can be able to hide your troop as long as you send one troop with the, uh, the sigil attached. Um, then you're, you're helping your, your, uh, your uh, guild with Dragon Arena, with uh, WoW, you're helping with Chalice, KVK, and stuff like that. So, uh, in order to get the Sigil, you need to go down the Sigil's research tree, and you need to have all of these research to level 8, and then unlock Helmet Sigil. This will cost you 2,800 Archaic Tomes, which is a steep price, but it provides a lot. And uh, lots of big guild, it requires at, at least uh, to add sigil, the Almet sigil on mark. All right, let's move on to number uh, four. And number four is army limit. So I talked about uh, having seven army limit on this account. There we go, where, where is it? Yes. Where is it? Seven army limit on this account. There it is, army limit seven. So um, you can, uh, there's a couple ways you can do that. Obviously the big guilds, they will most likely not uh, pick you up if you don't have castle point five. Uh, but basically the army limit, uh, they work, you have, you go to castle, you see your, your army limit is gonna be at, at four from uh, castle 19 all the way to 24. And then at 25, you have five army limit. And then there's a bunch of research. There's actually three research at the moment. So there's two in upgrade military. Uh, and they, they, take, they take a long time to unlock. This one uh, I've added for uh, maybe a year now. Uh, but then this one's going to take a long time to finish. Even though it looks like I'm close to finish. It, those are really, really like uh, the level 10s. I think it's, it's like a 120 days after Alps each of them so it's it's very uh it costs a lot in speed up it's going to take a long time and there's also another one in army leadership uh so i suggest that you unlock this one second um and then you go back to this one lastly uh so what army limit does is it helps uh if you if you are a filler if you want to fill rallies fill wonders uh, this helps a lot in Dragon Arena. This helps a lot in WoW also in KVK to a lesser extent, depending if your guild is fighting for um, for uh, Wonders, which, I mean, we're talking about a big guild, uh, a very um, war-heavy guild. So yes, they will fight for Wonders. So you that's one thing you need to help. You always want to make sure that if you go in Fury in a big guild, you're probably gonna be the prime target. You you, you need you need to uh, make sure that you either can hide all your troops, or you need to make sure that you can take a rally or two. So you need to have some buffers, uh, T2 buffers, uh, and uh, so in in the a year ago everyone was saying you need about three to four million T2. I think nowadays you need a little bit more uh, now that we have. Astrolite and uh, Artifact Boost. So um, don't look at this and, and, and think that you have enough. Make sure that you have plenty. Otherwise, you're just going to get crushed. Uh, especially you get you get countered, you're going to cry. <laughs> so uh, Army Limit is filling. Make sure that you're able to fill. And then uh, lastly, um, the one thing you could do as free-to-play players to help your guild uh, point number five is going to be you can do you can score high points in uh, events so that means ch not doing the minimum uh so guild fest is an easy one uh you can get pretty uh, a pretty good amount of points in guild fest uh being free to play obviously you won't you won't be able to do the, the big 
you you won't be able to do like the 352 12 times 11 times sorry um unless you save for a long 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 time but uh there's plenty of quests that gives between 140 and 180 points that are really easy to do uh and that don't require any speed up uh any cost so Scoring I in Guildfest is easy. In Guild Bash, you can run some uh, low-level uh, darkness, help the guild while the big ones are the big players are doing the, the high-level ones. Uh, you can do donation box, which I always do. It's easy points. Uh, obviously, hunting monster, you should always do that. Uh, but there's also Guild Bash, Guildfest. Uh, there's Lord's Cup, KVK. Uh, even if you gather in KVK, you don't have to just do the bare minimum you can keep going keep doing points same thing for Lord's Cup any extra points you do might mean the difference between rank 1 and rank 2 and some extra rewards for everyone so uh, very easy to help your guild with uh, with events and also Dragon Arena just by filling just by uh, helping with sigil and, and troops uh, you can help your guild. Uh, sometimes it's sometimes the, the 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 difference between a win and a loss is just one more player that comes in and fills and adds some sigil boost uh, for for forty five minutes for Dragon Arena. So so those are the top five things that you can do. Uh, at least it's part one. I'm gonna do a follow up video. So let me know in the comments below if uh, there are other tips, other advice you guys think about free-to-play players that can, they can be useful in big uh, war-heavy guild. Uh, and let me know if you're in a, in a big guild, if you would take someone <laughs> or if you would deny a free-to-play player if they do all of those things for your guild. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and see you later.